Video coverage of IT Expo is brought to you by Content Boost, the content marketing specialists. Amplify your sales today. Hi, Rachel Ramsey here at IT Expo in Miami. I'm here with Barlow Keener from the Keener Law Group. Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks, Rachel. So, actually, one of the shows that we're going to focus on instead of IT Expo is the Super Wi-Fi and uh, Spectrum Sharing Summit. So, tell us a little about you put it on. So, what what were you hoping to accomplish with this, and what were uh, some of the attendees expecting? Yeah, well, um, the uh, Spectrum Sharing is becoming all the rage right now in order to deal with the Spectrum Crunch. So. This is the fourth or third year that we've had a biannual conference with everyone involved in what's called Super Wi-Fi, which is sharing uh, the old TV channels. And it's a dynamic way of sharing the channels using a database connected to radios. It's the very first uh, in, the, in the world. The FCC promoted it in uh, 2010. And so we have new equipment vendors because in the in the past, only TV, one direction, radios and televisions were built. So you have a whole new set of equipment vendors making sure that they can deliver broadband uh, in a TV channel and not go outside that TV channel and get, you know, white fuzz, remember the days when you would have two TV channels crossing? So they didn't want that to happen. It, to make that happen in a radio is very difficult. and so. We've got uh, Microsoft and Google involved in doing trials in Africa, and um, there have been many trials across the rural U.S. to put uh, broadband uh, in the rural U.S. using these shared spectrum radios. One of the things that's unique about the radios is that they can go through trees and buildings, because just like your TV channel can go through trees and buildings, and you know when you're in your basement or you're outside, you can't get your Wi-Fi signal. That's because you've got a wall or a tree or a building blocking the Wi-Fi signal. So this particular Wi-Fi, this, this signal, because it's in the 700 TV channel area, can go through trees and mountains and literally around a hill or a building and uh, give you broadband where in the past you couldn't get it. So that's kind of a big uh, focus for the beginning of this process. There are about... Uh, two billion unconnected, uh, or maybe three billion unconnected uh, citizens of the world. And so there's a big focus on bringing this technology to Africa and to Asia and to India. You know, if you look on a map that shows, like an Akamai map, that shows where the internet is and where the internet is not, they're just like dark. The whole of Africa is dark, mm -hmm. and the whole of India is dark, and the whole of uh, some parts of Russia, there's not much internet. So this will really turn things around. And on the technology side, sort of the more um, advanced part, this conference is looking at uh, sharing different spectrum, not just the TV spectrum, but uh, the uh, Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz, and the 3.5 gigahertz, and the 5.9 gigahertz any spectrum that can be shared and used. So in the past, uh, uh, spectrum may be used for military radar, but that military radar doesn't get used very often. Maybe every time a ship comes by, but that's it. So there's a lot of work on sharing that spectrum. When the ship is not being used, that spectrum can be used by us. Got it. So what are some of the types of panels and sessions that are happening this week? Well, we've had uh, different panels, one on uh, LSA and ASA, which are licensed shared access. And there's a big debate uh, in that area about Qualcomm wants to have an exclusive license where the licensee would share the spectrum as they saw fit. And then uh, New America and Google, they don't want to see that happen. So we've had uh, that. We've had the um, 5.9 docket. We've had a battle of devices. So we have uh, Carlson Wireless and Adaptrum and uh, KTS. They're several small uh, companies, startups that have devices, and they now have certified, FCC certified licensed devices, and we took a look at the specifications uh, on those devices. And we've also looked at companies providing databases to those devices. Excellent. So you said this is a biannual event, uh, two times a year? Yeah, we come, we sort of uh, tag along the side of the IT Expo, mm -hmm. and you know, we have about 60 to 70 attendees, so it's a sort of a small 
very highly focused industry show with everyone in our industry shows up. All the lawyers, uh, often the regulators, although they're on sequester and they didn't show up this year, but uh, we have the uh, top thinkers, all the top industry players. It's the tip top of a very new uh, industry. Great. Well, uh, it sounds very exciting. It sounds like everyone is having a great time and there's a lot to talk about. So we will see you again in Vegas. Yep, in, Ve in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Video coverage of IT Expo is brought to you by Content Boost, the content marketing specialists. Amplify your sales today.